Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Alex Perez versus Tashu Tayero. Alex Perez, 25 wins, 8 losses, 2 and 3 in his last 5 fights. Lost against Mak Jesus, lost against Makayev. A lot of people thought Perez won that fight. Defending takedowns doesn't win you the fight. That's the reality. Um, uh, defeating Matthias Nikolai is a very good win, but Nikolai didn't fight the way he should have. Great grappler, chose to strike, makes no fucking sense, but good job for Perez for finding the shot to put him away. Very bad IQ by Nikolai. One month ago, good. Uh, the better fight for Perez would have been um, Joshua Van, to be honest, because he would have striked with him. Um, plus 165 underdog for Perez is a little bit surprising, but I do understand it. 32 years old, 5'6", with a 65 and a half inch reach. Fighting Tayara, who's 15 and 0, 24 years old, 5'7", with a 70 inch reach. 1 inch in height, 5'4.5 inches in reach. Th this one really comes down to can Tayara do enough off of his back to get submissions or sweeps? Will his guard be good enough to beat somebody like Perez? Because I don't know necessarily if he's going to stay standing with him because Perez is going to want to strike. You know, if you look at a lot of the fights, if you look at a lot of the fights with, like, Perez, when he, when he you know, he got he fought Davis and Figueroa, caught him with a guillotine, fought per, uh, Pantoja, got his back, elite grapplers fought Muhammad Makayev, defended a lot of takedowns, didn't do a whole lot, and Makayev was able to find takedowns. Tayera is not a great takedown guy. He gets takedowns, but he's not a great takedown. Fought Nikolai, used his hands, got the win. Big win for sure. Tayera has really good submissions, but he also doesn't have that great takedown. Now, if he gets a hold of you, he can pull guard and set up your guard. But is he going to be too comfortable to be off his back? Same thing with Perez. Is he going to be so comfortable being in his guard? Is he not going to try getting up to where he can try punishing Tayera a little bit? Also, Tayera is coming off of a big win over Carlos Hernandez where he actually finished Hernandez. Big surprise there, to be honest. Nice long one-two, big power uh, with, with his punches. But you don't want to test that with Perez because he's crafty, good movement. Uh, durable in the striking, I would say, unless you're Joseph Benavides. Finished him twice in the same fight, same round, same moment. Crazy. Go check that out. But I like Tierra. I think he does enough to win it. I think he catches him uh, early if he's going to do it. It's going to be really early. It's going to be something crazy, a, a guillotine, a high guillotine, or something. Otherwise, he'll win by decision. Just activity off of his back, probably, and sweeping him and things like that. But as always, Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you guys have. What are your guys' locks? Remember, we'll talk about it throughout the week. See you at the next one. Peace.